Hello. Welcome to Blogmas Day 22. Oh gosh, we're, we're getting close to the end. I have to tell you I'm fairly happy about that because I am like really stressed out from Christmas. I'm kind of running out of things to do. My hair's doing something weird over here because I have it in combs. I don't know about the rest of you. I love this hairstyle. I actually used to wear this. This is how I wore my hair in high school. Not even trying to do vintage. It was just like a way that my mom showed me to do my hair, and I started wearing my hair this way. But um, let me show you one. Let me show you what happens to my combs. Can you guys see that? Can you see? Let's see. Let's do this. Can you see how horrible this poor comb looks? I know, right? Um, so if you don't know how to do this, you take the front piece here, kind of pull it up, and you take your bottom piece and you pull it back against it. Oh and you put the comb in and you get this nice like puffiness up here. You can also back tease this. Um, I don't back tease my hair because I don't have to because I have enough hair for several people besides myself. Um, so I never back tease it and it also really damages your hair when you do that a lot. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna back comb, you need to make sure that you're also taking really good care of your hair. So. Uh, sorry about yesterday's video. I was just having a day. Everything was going wrong. The stove wasn't working. Like, I, even the, the bottom drawer of my stove where I keep my um, cookie sheets, it like went off track and then I couldn't get it closed. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't cook with the thing open because as I've said before, my kitchen is insanely small and I don't have enough room in it to have a drawer like that open. So I finally just jammed it. I probably broke the stupid thing. Um, you know, which I'm sure at some point in time I'll have to pay for if I ever move out of here, but, um, you know, that stove's only a year old and it's such a piece of crap, but I'm not going to rant anymore. Let's move on to a new day and new stuff. So let's talk about all my fabric and this isn't even all of it. I'm just going to go over some projects I know I'm going to do definitely. So I can tell you guys, you know, what's what. So if you watch the video about the vintage sewing machine, remember all this gorgeous eyelet I found, right? And there's, there's a lot of it. There's a whole lot of it. And I love it, but you know, it's eyelet. You can see through it. And then I realized I had this. This is just some basic cotton muslin shirting. It's nothing fancy, but it is almost exactly the color of the muslin. And I had bought this pattern because I wanted to make this skirt out of this lovely gray wool blend for, I just wanted a winter skirt to like, not even for vintage wear, just like a, like the kind of skirt that you can put on when you get home at night and you're like, just want to be comfortable. The only thing I have to do is I have to put pockets in this because this pattern does not have pockets, but that's okay. I, I'm just going to add pockets on the side. I think the zipper, oh, it might have a side zipper, which makes that kind of a pain in the ass, but that's all right. I've done side zippers with pockets before. I'll just figure it out. Or depending on where the seams are, if the seams are in the back of the um, this pattern, in the back of the skirt, like if this front part I believe is on the fold and then there's two side seams and two back seams, I will put the zipper in the back seam and on the two side seams, I will add pockets. But it's really hard to see, so I'm gonna get close to the camera. But can you see that shirt? It's a, I'll show you the, well, you can't even see it on the back. Um, it's, a, it's a shirt that buttons up the back and has pin tucks across the front. And I thought, well, you know, that would be actually really nice because by adding the pin tucks with this, even though it's gonna be a little bit problematic, um, it'll, deal with some of the transparency of this material so it'll be a little bit more modest shall we say even though i am the most immodest woman you will ever meet hence the reason the name of the channel is cheap hussy you know and some people have asked me why i spell um hussy with the ey there was a person who had a youtube channel called hussy when i first started so i added the e because they weren't using cheap hussy they were just using hussy and then, you know, I added the E so there was a little more distinction between the two channels. The channels completely disappeared. Um, I've had this channel forever. I've had my own, like, just YouTube page thing for years. Years ago, I tried out for a couponing show. 
um, and didn't get it. It wasn't the extreme couponing. It was another one that was after extreme couponing, and I didn't get it. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, onward and upward. So I have this absolutely fabulous fabric. Can you guys see this? Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's really, it's rayon. I did the, I did the cigarette lighter test on it, and it's real rayon. It came, I was at a yard sale, and this woman had, I mean, so much. She just had bags of stuff that had belonged to her mother. And she was just, she was just getting rid of them. And she had kind of like grouped them out by like, um, like this had, oh, I still have the thread. This had yellow thread in there. It had this thing of yellow thread, right? It's beautiful professional seamstress thread. It had like a zipper and uh, some, I think a couple, a little bit of lace maybe. It was just like a grab bag and it was like five bucks. Well, I saw this, this little baby and I was like, I'm grabbing it. I have no idea how much fabric it is. I could see that it was a fair amount because the bag was big and it wasn't folded like this. It was bunched into the bag. So I knew it was at least a yard. I took it home and ended up being a yard and a quarter, which isn't a lot, but I think I'm going to try and make, um, I'll show it to you actually. I have the Gertie's, I have Gertie's books and I think I'm going to try and make this skirty shirt out of that fabric so it'll kind of be like you know like like the Hawaiian shirts that the men wear but a little more feminine I do have a men's Hawaiian shirt like a dad shirt that is um really cool I don't think it's vintage I think it's a vintage reproduction but I really like it I wear it all summer and I tie it around my waist and wear it with jeans and do the whole vintage gal thing um and I think that's what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to make it into that because I've wanted to make this shirt for a while. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, what else? Okay. So I have this fabric. And this, I really love it because it's polka dot, but I'm kind of at a loss what to do with this. And while I was looking in here, I noticed there's some really, Gertie's got some really nice skirts. And so I'm thinking of maybe doing one of her skirts. I just don't know which one yet. She's got great skirts in here. Um, I have the the Gertie Sews, what is it, Gertie Sews Casual. And it's a really good book. I really like it. I'm very happy with it, but I haven't made anything out of them, out of, out of it yet. I also have this one, her other book. I have this one. This was her first book. I have Gertie Sews Casual, which I think is her third book could be the second there's also the dress book so I'm not sure which which one came you know in what order so I'm not really sure what to do with that one but I'm thinking that's what I'm leaning towards okay so this fabric which unfortunately is rumpled up and needs to be ironed this is another 100% rayon fabric this I just got on clearance from uh what are you doing stop eating that my dog's eating dirt out of a plant. Stop eating that. No wonder you get sick all the time. Jesus, dude. Um, anyway, <laughs> go lay down. Technical difficulties. Um, I think with this, I am going to make this longer skirt. Not these. See, I never share this much of my legs. I'm too old for this stuff. When I was young, absolutely. Yeah, I'm almost 60, kids. We're not doing that. We'll do this, though. This is like awesome. And this is probably just enough fabric for that. So th that'll be gorgeous with, with this nice flowy kind of design. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do with that fabric. Okay, so let's talk about Gertie some more. So for this dress, which I'm dying to make, the 1940s shirt dress. What is that what she calls it? Yeah, the shirt waist dress, right? A classic. I had found this incredible fabric at Joann's and I haven't never seen it since. So they may have been just getting rid of it, but you guys see how beautiful that is? And I got enough to make this dress. I bought everything and never made it. I don't know what I was doing in lockdown. I wasn't cleaning the house, trust me. Trust me on that one. And then I also want to make the var variation, the zip front dress. 
the variation of this dress, the zip front dress, and that I'm going to make out of this really pretty green fabric. And, you know, zip front, it's gonna be great. In fact, finding all those metal zippers that that woman had saved, I'm gonna use one of these metal zippers, if she has one long enough in there, on this. I just want some house coats. I know that sounds weird, right? I just want some house coats, but I do. I want something that when I get home from work and I'm in my school bus clothes, I can just take off my school bus uniform. I don't really have a uniform. We have to wear a t-shirt that has the name of the Board of Education in the town, the name of the town in the Board of Education. And they're in lovely colors like this very weird blue or orange. And I don't like the orange, so I opt to wear a hoodie that is that highlighter yellow because we have to wear that also. And then we can wear khakis or jeans. We can wear anything except yoga pants and, and leggings. That's their only rule. So, you know, but for a person like me, for a person like me who used to work in corporate and used to buy every piece of clothing that Banana Republic made that was even slightly vintage inspired, to then go to wearing jeans and I wear my Doc Martens all the time for work and wearing a t-shirt and a hoodie. It's like, it's like a little bit of murder. It's kind of murder. All right, so I just wanna get some house dresses so that when I come home from work, I can throw on a house dress and take off my uniform and feel like, well, I was gonna say feel like a woman, but it's not even like, just feel like even slightly attractive. Like, ugh, and the clothes I wear for work. All right, so. I digress. So you guys remember this? Found it in the sewing cabinet. It's three and a half yards, which is more than enough for lots of things. I thought about doing a dress, but I really want a blouse out of this. So I have this pattern and I'm thinking about this blouse here. The only thing I don't like about it is see this, it's bra uh, bracelet length. I'm not a big fan of bracelet length. Um, I always feel like bracelet length on me looks like I got the wrong size because I'm so tall. Um, but this, if you if you can see, see this here, the shoulder pads and how it's, the shoulder is sewn in with the gathers here. I do like that aspect of this. So I'm not sure if I'll make this into, make this fabric into this, but it's gonna be something reasonably close. And other than that, I have some odds and ends of fabric that I just don't really know what I want to do with them, like the fabric I got at the thrift store. Um, it's it's cute, but it's very like cottage core, which is a new word that I just learned. You kids with your crazy expressions, your cottage core. Um, I didn't know what cottage core was, but I was like, wow, okay, that's a good. It's a good definition. I won't dress like cottagecore, um, but I have both. I have two fabrics actually that are kind of cottagecore. Let me show you the other one. This is, this is totally cottagecore, and I look at this and I'm like, I, I'm never gonna wear this. Like I have, I have zero interest in wearing this fabric, and it's only a little over yard, so it's not really a lot. I mean, I could maybe make a top out of it, but that's about it. But. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with some of these other fabrics I have, but uh, we will see, and I will try and shoot sewing videos, but you know how good I am with, with cooking videos, so can you imagine how fun it's going to be for me to shoot, you know, sewing videos? Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. I did get some new patterns this week. Uh, I got, let me show you what I got. I got this one, the famous overall pattern, which actually I'm thinking this shirt, not the one with the hood, the other view without the hood, this fabric would probably make a nice shirt, right? Because then if I do the denim, the overalls, I can wear this shirt with it. Um, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. I have more than enough to do this shirt with or without the, you know, with or without the hood. Um, it's, I keep watching people's videos about this and apparently the hood is tiny because women back in those days must have had very small heads because they, the hood doesn't, everybody says the hood is like this tiny, tiny little hood. I mean, I could also do this, 
I just, yeah, I'm not. You know, this fabric was in this sewing cabinet, so it's all good. And there's my lovely sewing machine, which is a 5190, by the way, and everybody that I've seen on the internet has said that this is a fabulous machine. I'm going to take it to be serviced. I want them to check the electrical lines. I want them to do it a, a, like a once over, give it a tune up. Uh, because I have seen people talking about how, because it's an older sewing machine, it has um, the fiber over the electrical um, wiring, which means you can get a shock because this is an all metal machine. But I'm gonna get her a little love, a little TLC, and then we'll see. All right, guys, well, that's the end of day 1,000 of Vlogmas, or no, we're only up to 21, but or 22, see? We're only up to 22, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and I still have another day because Thursday I'm going to show you how to do the bakala, which I've been changing the milk every day. It's been sitting in my refrigerator. I've been changing the milk every day, so I still have to show you how to make the bakala, and I still have to show you guys how to make the baked French toast with the panettone and show you what panettone looks like. So all of that in the future, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I have no idea. Tap dancing, juggling, I don't know, riding a unicycle, I'll figure something out. But until then, if you like my videos, if they make you laugh, which I'm sure they do for anybody that watches them, um, please like, subscribe, and like I always say, please comment. I love comments and nobody ever comments. So I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.